Have you ever heard of Web 3.0? Web 3.0 often known as Web3, is the World Wide Web's third generation. It is a concept of a decentralized and open web with greater utility for its users that is currently in development. Web refers to the World Wide Web, or WWW, the Internet's primary information retrieval mechanism. The WWW initialism used to, and often still does, preface a web URL and was one of the first characters typed into a web browser when searching for specific research online. The term World Wide Web was coined by internet pioneer Tim Berners-Lee to refer to the World Wide Web of information and services linked together via hypertext links. Let's dive deeper into Web 3.0. Web 3.0 is the next iteration or phase of an evolution of the web or internet, and it has the potential to be disruptive and represent a paradigm shift as Web 2.0 was. Web 3.0 has evolved well beyond Berner Lee's original notion of the semantic web in 2001. This is due in part to the high cost and difficulty of converting human language with all of its various nuances and variations into a format that computers can understand, as well as the fact that Web 2.0 has already changed significantly over the last two decades. Meet Mike. Mike is a computer geek who spends much of his time on his laptop surfing the web. He was reading an article about futuristic devices one day when he noticed an advertisement for the PS5 right beside the article. He thought that weird because he had just searched for that a few hours before. Later that day, he noticed some suggestive advertising connected to purchasing future leading devices, and he freaked out. He is wondering how it was possible that what he was seeking for just a few hours ago or days before on the internet was now recommending ads related or similar to them. So he thought of going to his elder brother, Bob, who is a software engineer. When he realized what was going on, he told Mike that everything was happening because we were living in the Web 2.0 era. It all began in 1994 with the introduction of Web 1.0 on the internet. Web 1.0 was basically completely read-only content that was not interactable, similar to a massive Wikipedia page. However, after a few years, in 2004, Web 2.0 entered the picture. Web 2.0 made the internet considerably more interactive due to advancements in web technologies such as JavaScript, HTML5, CSS3, and others, which enabled corporations to construct interactive web platforms such as YouTube, Facebook, and Wikipedia, among others. He went on to say that when we seek information or data of any kind from any web platform available on the internet, we unknowingly provide them with information about our preferences and interests which are stored in cookies and eventually sold to various companies who use this data to advertise exactly what you were looking for. This is how Mike came across advertisements relevant to his interests. Mike was thrilled by how the internet has progressed and how well it works, but he was also concerned about the lack of privacy it does. Out of concern, Mike asked Bob if there was any way to close the gaps in current Web 2.0. When Bob replied yes, there are a lot of ways to achieve it using TOR browser, incognito mode, and so on. However, these are not permanent solutions and their reliability might shift. Furthermore, Web 3.0 can transform this scenario for everyone who uses the internet, not just you. Mike was intrigued and asked about Web 3.0. Web 3.0, according to Bob, is the next step in the growth of the internet, allowing it to handle data with near-human intelligence through the use of artificial intelligence and blockchain technologies, which run new programs to assist users by giving them relevant choices. It represents an important step toward open, trusted, and permissionless networks. Bob went on to say that in order to completely grasp this, we must first understand the four fundamental features of Web 3.0. First is decentralization, because Web 3.0 allows information to be retrieved based on its content. Blockchain will help to consolidate data storage while also establishing trust in the virtual world. It can be held in multiple locations at the same time, making it decentralized. This would deconstruct the massive data sets currently stored by internet goliaths such as Facebook, now Meta, and Google, giving them less control over individuals. Second is trustful and permissionless. Web 3.0 will also be trustful and permissionless, allowing people to engage without the requirement for a trusted intermediary or permission from a governing body. As a result, you can access any data related to your selection without requiring permission from any other node or third party. For example, if you are looking for information, you do not need to accept its cookies or supply any information because you and the web have a trustworthy relationship. Third is artificial intelligence and machine learning. In Web 3.0, 
machines will be able to comprehend information in the same manner that humans do, with technology based on semantic web ideas and natural language processing. The syntax of I Love New York and I Heart New York may appear to be different. Their semantics, however, are essentially identical. This will allow the user to find more relevant information to their preferences and would make the internet browsing easier for them. Fourth is connectivity and ubiquity. Because IoT, or Internet of Things, technology will be available in various new smart devices in Web 3.0. The internet will be accessible to everyone, everywhere, at any time. As Web 2.0, these internet-connected devices will no longer be limited to PCs and smartphones. Recognizing Web 2.0's shortcomings, companies such as Amazon, Apple, and Google are changing their present services into Internet 3.0 apps that adhere to these four criteria. Both Siri and Wolfram Alpha make advantage of Web 3.0 features. Mike was relieved to find that Web 3.0 will make such a significant difference not only in his life, but also in the lives of society as a whole. A decentralized autonomous organization is an emerging governance ideal among the blockchain and Web 3.0 communities or DAO. Instead of a centralized authority governing platform operations, a DAO, Web 3.0 technologies, and community give a sort of self-governance in an attempted decentralized manner. Web 3.0 is essentially more compatible with cryptocurrencies than with fiat currency. The use of cryptocurrencies, which are all created and enabled on top of blockchain technology, enables finance and the ability to pay for products and services with a decentralized form of payment across Web 3.0. The distinction between Web 2.0 and 3.0 is that Web 3.0 is more focused on the use of technologies, such as machine learning and AI, to give appropriate material for each user rather than just the content provided by other end users. Web 2.0 allows users to contribute and sometimes collaborate on site content. However, Web 3.0 will most likely delegate these tasks to semantic web and AI technology. Web 3.0 also emphasizes decentralized services and authority, in contrast to Web 2.0's centralized approach. Web 3.0 social media and social networking systems built on blockchain have the potential to transform all of this. Instead of platforms targeting and harvesting user information indiscriminately, new platforms will likely and are already provide more options for what data a user provides to the platform and perhaps more importantly, will compensate users in cash, crypto, or native tokens for providing their personal data to advertisers. Furthermore, by sharing their interests and desires with the platform in question, consumers will be able to build a more personalized advertising experience. In some circumstances, users may be able to completely avoid advertising. There are also a few newer social networks that explicitly provide users more control over their data. Sapien, for example, is an Ethereum-based social network news. Users have extensive data control and can stake SPN tokens to obtain token payouts for voting on posts, creating content, and simply writing comments. Web 3.0 and the associated blockchain, crypto, and DeFi businesses, as well as the rapid development of the metaverse, have provided people with a wide range of new professional prospects. This is especially true for those eager to learn new talents, even if they are simple. Whether one is a blockchain engineer, a writer, a marketing or a UX designer, the amount of capital flowing into these quickly emerging industries has enabled individuals to find better paying and perhaps more fulfilling professions. What do you think of the third era of the internet? Did you find this video helpful and informative? Please let us know in the comment section below. Please support us by showing your appreciation for this video and give us a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. If you want to be notified when we release a new video, click on the notification bell to be up to date on everything related to crypto and finance. That is it for today's video. This has been Diversified Streams. Thanks for tuning in and see you in our next video. Thank <music> you.